What's going on guys? So today we're going to talk about knee valgus in the squat. Knee valgus is the term used to describe the knees collapsing in on themselves when you're coming out of the squat. Knee valgus occurs when the hips are in a flex position, um, i.e. the bottom of the squat, and the hips are forced to adduct and then internally rotate, forcing the knees in. So why does this occur? The blanket cover for it is that weak glutes. Everyone just slams the glutes saying it's not doing their job, which is a very small part of it. But again, there are other things that I look at as a checklist before I say it's just weak glutes. The first thing I always look at is efficiency of technique. Will knee valgus go away just by correct movement patterns and better cueing? The biggest thing, or one of the biggest things I see, sorry, is the, over, the overuse cue of force your knees out. If your knees don't want to track that way, they're not going to go that way. And then when they do, they're going to come in because that's where they find neutral ground. That's where they feel most comfortable and that's where the, the efficient movement happens. So always look at your efficiency of technique. The second thing, guys, is weak VMO, the teardrop muscle of the quad. If that is weak, it's going to provide, it won't be able to provide stability sorry, to the knee and the knees are going to track differently. Again, going back to what I linked into before about um, efficiency of technique. If the VMO is weak, the glute is not going to work as, as efficiently as it, as it should. There is a big correlation between VMO and glutes. The third thing, guys, is overactive adductors. So, if you do have overactive adductors, it's going to provide instability to the femur, and again, coupled with weak glutes, it's not going to do the role that it needs to provide stability to the hip joint. Foam rolling and stretching is a quick and easy way to help release the pressure through adductors so they can hopefully do their job. Fourth thing, guys, is weak core. Now, this leads back into the third. If your core is weak, it's going to rely on the adductors to do their job. I always have looked at adductors as the second core. When the core switches off through whether it's weak core or just inefficient bracing, the adductors have to take over. And if they're not ready for it, they're going to quickly engage and pull the knees back in. Then the fifth thing, guys, is of course weak glutes. The role of the glutes is to pull the femur back into the hip joint in that position. If they are weak and unstable and everything else along that list isn't working efficiently, your glutes aren't going to be working as well. So guys, those are the five things. I'll create another video around how to deal with those issues. If you have any questions, shoot us a DM, comment below, and we'll get back to you. Thanks, guys.